I remember the first time I came home from college. I knew I'd arrived when I started to smell it. The mix between dad's cooking and mom's cleaning supplies, constantly battling for supremacy. But in the millicent of that strange aroma cocktail, I knew I was home. By our French front doors that we hardly use because real family comes in through the garage. The old jungle gym that we eventually tore down to make room for dad's garden. Former versions of myself line the basement pole in pencil markings marking different seasons of my life. My old room, a cage full of memories. It took two months to build that house, but it took 20 years to build that home. 20 years of smiles and laughter, 20 years of arguing and forgiveness, 20 years of careful construction to frame friendships and to build belonging. When I think of home, I think of a place created for connection. And we have a God who is connecting all things, even from the beginning, when out of chaos, a creator brings order forward. Skies and waters separate. Plants and creatures habitate. Man and woman roll in late. And on the seventh date, he takes a break, gazing at all that he did create. For heaven's sake, I did just make everything. And so the scriptures wake with this God who builds things, starting with a universe and moving in from there. This is the God who called Abraham to build a family. The God who called Noah to build an ark. He called Moses to build a rule book, Asaph to build a song book, and Paul to build the good book. He called Gideon to build an army, and David to build an altar. He called Solomon to build a temple, and Peter to build a people. God called Jacob to build a well, and Jesus to build a way. And through this company of carpenters and contractors, it becomes crystal clear that in this constant construction, God is building something. God is building a home. This project where we lay bricks to frame the doors will one day open to welcome in the weeping. Build a building where we sing songs and bring a kingdom where we right wrongs. With nails, we'll build the Lord's house, and with love, we'll bring the lost home. God is building a home. Not a four-walled building, but four broken people in service of the other. Man, children, sister, brother, covered by a roof of grace shuddered by the curtain of his presence, welcomed with the warmth of his passionate love. God is building a home, and he's building it for all people. On this empty land will one day stand the framework planned by a blueprint drawn with blood-red ink, cherry wood carried in cross form by the cornerstone, and the first stake breaks ground through flesh and bone on Calvary. They were tearing apart a man, but God was building a home. When he was broken and resurrected, life and death intersected, bringing hope to the infected and building home for the neglected, sin corrected, sinner perfected, orphan elected, estranged, connected, and kingdom erected, brought near, right here.